In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Ada client user interface to be able to archive and retrieve some files by simply doing a drag and drop. So first of all, let's log in and connect to a specific project archive. This one here is called Photos Ingest to be able to archive photo files. One thing that I can start doing is to create a new folder into the archive and call it USA Photos, for example and then go to that folder. I am on the archiving side. Then I'll be able to browse my local volume in here and choose the folder in which I have some files to archive. Select those files in here and just do a drag and drop into the archive. You will see that it creates a queue of files to be archived. If I apply that queue, I will be asked to put some specific manual metadata. So the name of the photographer, the ISO that was used to take those photos, the location, USA, and the year those photos were taken, and then validate that. Clicking on messages, you will see a new archiving job that has been created and it's already been archived. You can see that it archived all those back to the archive. You will see that those files have been archived and there are no reference in the database. To be able to retrieve, for example, those two files, I will switch to the retrieval mode and then connect to a folder on my machine, a local folder. Let's restore all that to one call restore. So the restore is gonna be as simple as just doing a drag and drop of those two files into the local folder and apply the queue. Like the archiving, you will see a message in here showing you that the retrieval is actually run. At the end of the operation, on my local volume in the restore folder, I will have those two files that have been restored the way they were before being archived. 